the My Fold. And this is what it looks like. It's a grab and go booster. Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another vlog. So actually right now it's a lot later in the day starting this vlog. It's after 3 o'clock. Um, the reason being is I went to bed last night with a headache and I woke up with a headache. Um, I got it this morning. I took Tylenol. I've had some caffeine. I've ate something. I've drank water and my head is still pounding. So, with that being said, that's kind of why I hadn't picked the camera up any sooner. Plus, I had um, three videos to edit today, so I knew if I didn't get those out of the way this morning, my headache may get worse in the afternoon, because it normally does. And it kind of stopped hurting. I wouldn't say stopped. It wasn't as strong of a headache. Um, closer to lunch after I ate, so I hurried up, got all my editing done, and now the headache's coming back again. So, it's just, it's never left but it's had stages um it's not a migraine yet but i can foresee it being one by tonight because as the day goes on normally they don't get any better they just get worse and i have like the weirdest headaches to me i can start out like having a faint headache and if i take tylenol right away normally i can get rid of it if it's hurting a little where i can actually feel it's a full headache I can't get rid of it. Um, normally the only thing that will is sleep, but like I said, I went to bed last night with a headache and woke up again with a headache. Oh, so I am just not feeling it today whatsoever. But um, I did want to share with you guys something that I purchased yesterday. And we don't vlog on Sundays, so I didn't film it, so I wanted to show you guys today. And I actually got a chance to use it last night. We tried it out and I like it. I really do. Um, the only thing is, it's just something to get used to. Well, let me explain what it is first. Let me go get the box so I can show you exactly what the name is and you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so I actually got the ring light set it up so I can use my hands because it's a little bit easier. But it's actually called the My Fold. And this is what it looks like. It's a grab and go booster. So I'm not sure if any of you guys have seen this. We found it at Target. And the main reason for getting it, let me explain real quick. Aiden is six, and um, his car seat that he's currently in right now is a Diano. It's a great car seat. It's slim, it's small, it fits perfect in, you know, any vehicle. Definitely love his car seat, but we've had that same car seat now, I want to say since before he was one years old. So he's had it now for five years. So with that being said, I wanted to get him a booster seat. Another reason I wanted to is I don't know if just because we've had it so long, the straps are getting worn out. The ones that actually anchor into the car and you pull tight and it anchors the seat. But we've noticed, even before I got the new car, with my old car, we would um, have to sometimes place a towel behind it or something just to kind of give it a little extra seating, I guess, or something behind it to when you pulled it tight, it actually wouldn't just slide all around on the seat. And I normally have underneath my car seats one of those black mats that you know it's supposed to help grip the car seat especially if you have leather seats the whole thing is we couldn't get it tight even in the last car i mean i got it pretty tight but it just never was tight like i wanted or at least not the way it used to be so we were just looking into other options should we go out and buy a whole nother car seat um with the five point harness you know should we just get a traditional booster where it lifts him up should i get the whole high back booster um, that uses the seat belt and I just wasn't sure what to go with. So we went to Target over the weekend and I was looking at different options of, you know, what I could use or what they actually had because, I mean, I hadn't bought booster seats since Bradley. So, and I hadn't been actively looking because I loved my car seat. Also, one thing we noticed is the tether on the back. I think it was getting worn out. I mean, all these parts are going to wear out eventually and I'm sure all of them can be replaced. But... He's already six, and I knew he wouldn't be in it too much longer, so I was like, you know, what can I get him? And he's pretty tall for his age and, you know, size-wise. So we went and looked at boosters, and they had, like, the traditional booster seat. I like that, but the only thing is they were, like, so wide. And the whole reason I bought the Diano car seat in the beginning was because I had a car, like a four-door car, and I had three kids in the back, and it was perfect. I could put him there. Briley Kayla had plenty of room. 
So I wanted something still slim so I wasn't taking that away either. And all the ones that I could find, now I didn't look online. This was strictly in the store. And the two that they had was the My Fold. They had this one, which, yeah, I was skeptical. I was like, oh my gosh, what is that? There's nothing there. I'll explain it to you though, if you guys don't know what a darty is. And then they had your traditional, just the booster. They only had those two options and it had like literally two cup holders on the on both sides. So it was pretty wide, I mean, it was a wide seat. Um, it looked comfy, but I was looking at the comparisons on the My Fold and our traditional booster. The difference that I found, and the reason why I went with this, I'll explain those two. I like this one because it is good for travel. So like if, you know, your kid has to go off with a friend or a grandma, they would actually be able to just take this. It's really small. I'll show you guys it in just a minute. It's in my car and I'm gonna actually show you with Aiden in it and before I put Aiden in the car as well. But with this, you just put it in your pocketbook, or whatever, you can take it with you. And yeah, like I said, at first I was like, how is that even gonna do anything? So they have this, the My Fold. What I liked about it is it says on the front, it's for taxi rides, car rentals, three in a row, which is what I have. Um, carpooling, traveling, grandparents, big kids. And it's 10 times smaller than a regular booster seat. And me and my husband were standing there looking at it. I was like, I just don't know how I feel about this. So I literally sat in Target. I mean, I would even say maybe an hour. And I just researched online websites, you know, all the different things. Because it's been out now for two or three years is what I was reading. Um, and I was watching videos and YouTubes and, you know, all that. Because I wanted to know is this a good one or is it not what I'm looking? I want something that's going to be protective, which most booster seats, just the booster, they're not, I mean, the point of a booster seat is to raise your kids so the seat belt fits nicely around their shoulder and fits them properly in case of an accident. I like the five point harness because it really holds them in place. And if Aiden does take a nap, he has something to rest his head on. And there's a lot of bit benefit to keeping that. And I haven't gotten rid of that car seat because like I said, I can totally order parts. But I thought, you know, if I decide to go back to his traditional Diano, I wanna order some more tethers and the straps and the latch part that latches it in the car. Cause like I said, I just believe over these period of five years, in and out of cars and this and that, it's just wearing out. So I was looking for an alternative. I'll tell you the, I wouldn't say negatives, but like your traditional booster seat at Target was $19.99. This was, I think, $39.99. So you're paying double for it for half the size. <laughs> but you know, everything that's smaller this day and time costs more. So anyway, this is what it looks like on the back. That's about how big it is. And you can see that little boy right there is holding it in his hand, comparing it to a traditional booster seat. But that's it. The two red things pop out of the sides to like adjust to the size of your child, which I thought was pretty neat. I like it because when we do traveling, we are planning on going some places that we will be taking like, you know, a plane and maybe possibly taxis or whatever to get where we need to go. I like this because that was our biggest hold up about taking long trips or flying somewhere and getting there and not having a car seat. That's something that always bothered me. So I thought, you know, I thought this would be great. Even if I go back to my car seat, I won't keep this anyway just for travel uses. This up here says it's for ages four plus, 40 to 100 pounds, and for the height, it's 40 inches to 57 inches, and it's been tested. One thing I found is with this one, it doesn't sit the best on leather seats. And the only reason I say that is when you place it up there, it kind of slides. Um, so I didn't really like that. When you take it out, it's really tiny and you're like, I don't understand what the purpose is. But the purpose mainly is just to bring the seatbelt down to their level versus you bringing the child up to the seatbelt level where a traditional booster comes in play. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like in my car in just a little bit once we leave the house because we do have to leave here in a little while to go run some errands. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. I'll show you Aiden in it. So I wanted to show you guys or tell you guys about this. Like I said, it's called the My Fold. If any of you have it and you like it or you don't like it, comment down below um, because like I said, it's new to me. It's something different. It's a very tiny because what I do is once I put him in the my fold. I actually take and pull the seatbelt out, release it so it locks. 
just because I don't want him to be moving or squirming around and the shoulder strap fall off. If it's locked, he's locked just like if he was in a five point harness. So that's one trick I do with all booster seats when my kids get in those because I feel safer with it being locked. But anyway, stick around. I'll show you guys what it looks like, what it looks like with Aiden sitting in it, and how easy it is to get in and out of the car. So just stay tuned, and I'll show you guys. Okay, guys, so we're outside now in the car, and this is what the My Fold looks like. This is how big it is. Like, literally, it's the size of my wallet. I'm not exaggerating. But it opens up just like this and this is the part that goes in the seat so let me show you so you put it in if you have a seat that has a back on it you can push it all the way back and kind of just lay it like that so you're going to take this put it in the seat with the strap guard over here i'm gonna have aiden sit in the seat for me and you just kind of hold it for him sit down on the center just like that and then what you're going to do now is come over here on this side and i know i'm trying to do this with one hand hold this part for me good job then what you're going to do is you're going to see down here that little part right there you're going to take this and it's going to slide right under that part if you can see what i'm doing then you come on this side and hold the strap again for mommy okay and then you come right down here okay so briley's out here now you can move that hand baby because it's you can't really film and do this at the same time so you bring that through here just like that and then you're going to take and just buckle. buckle just like normal okay this lays across their lap just like that and you can take and actually i pull this part a little snug and this is the part that's going to clamp on here this can adjust just like this you can make it um bigger or you can make this a little bit tighter so you're going to bring this through here and it's designed for the kid to be able to do it theirself but you know aiden to me is still young so i do it for him then once you get it where you want it you're just going to lock that back lock that in place and this part stays right behind him and this can be they said about an inch so i might actually go down a little bit shorter with this because he was sitting in the center but we're moving him here saying so something i do not everybody has to i bring the seat belt out after I get the, make sure the, like the waist part is really tight on his legs. And then I just let that go <laughs> to where it locks. You look a and, dumpster truck. Uh -huh, and then I place the strap on just like that. So I like to lock it. That way it's in place. And he, if he moves or anything, he's really not going to get this off his shoulder. Like he could if this part wasn't locked. Okay guys, so a lot has happened since the last time I picked the camera up. We actually, you know, I showed you guys the booster seat. Then I came back in the house. We started filming for Briley's um, channel. She was doing a cutting her squishy open or squishies and her slime ball. I don't know what it was. It had some really cool slime in it. So she was super excited about that. Were you not? Yes, I was. I'm going to go back and get more slime balls and like cut into them and get different colors of slime. Because that's the way to go. Just go buy all that stuff, cut it open, and you got, like, a lot of slime. You do, yeah. It was really and good it, slime, And you don't have to, like, make it get messy. You mm -mm. Just, and it wasn't actually, when you cut it open, it just kind of, like, flowed out of the top. And then you just pick it up, and, like, there was, it, there was no mess. Yeah. It, it was, was so cool. It was cool. I enjoyed it. <laughs> it was. So... We did that video, and then Aiden actually went to karate tonight, got another stripe on his belt. He was super excited about that. Mm. We ran to the grocery store. We did not fully grocery shop because, still, guys, my head is killing me. It's pounding. It was all the way across my forehead. Now it's just right over this eye, so it's turning to a migraine, which, you know, I told you guys. Um, it's just, like, over one eye now, so it's over this eye, and I've been rubbing my face so much, like, just, I probably rubbed all my makeup off. But Kayla was so sweet. We did stop at the grocery store to grab some hamburger and she made tacos tonight. So she made tacos. Don't mind my dresser. I am in the middle of cleaning up. But tacos, chips, and we have some cheese dip. And oh, you about got me, girl, with that chair. I'm sorry. So we're going to eat our dinner and. Um, I'll show you guys what Aiden's up to in a little bit, but I probably will end the vlog here shortly just because honestly I'm ready to lay down and turn all the lights off because that's the only thing that's going to help my headache is to go to sleep. I hate headaches and migraines, but who likes them, right? You doing your Fortnite dances? How's dinner? 
Good. Good. So he decided to have chips, cheese, and taco too. And you actually got lettuce on your taco. I'm proud of you. No cheese. No cheese. Well, that's fine. You got some cheese dip. Did you not want, you don't like sour cream. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. No sour cream tonight? No. And dad's enjoying yeah. his chips. Hanging right. out on the couch. Good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really. Yeah, I know. I'm so glad Kayla cooked because my head's hurting too bad. Yes. Oh, you're too close to me. I can't see you. Do it again, but jump before you get to me. Like, jump in the middle of the rug. Go. Now. Yeah, I saw ya. So, he's standing up to eat because this is where he chooses to eat when we all kind of disperse to eat. Sometimes we do eat dinner together, guys. Don't think we don't. We do. <laughs> but tonight, with my head hurting, I told everybody just eat wherever you want. I'm going to my bedroom because my head's hurting so bad. Are you now? You eat your dinner. And Briley, I think, yeah, there's Briley. Are you in here eating? What's on? Oh my gosh, wait a minute. That's not a taco. What is that? What are you talking about? What is that? That's just cheese and sour cream. What in the world? You just need to be vegetarian. I, I don't eat meat. I know you don't. I don't like it. She's not a big meat eater for it's sure. Nasty. Yeah. Well, that's so, fine. You can okay, eat. You, know what? <laughs> you can eat cheese ones. I don't care. I usually that's all I eat usually when I do it, when I get food. I usually have money because Kelly's like, <laughs> do you want me to make it or do you want me to make or do you want to make your own? I'm like, let me make my own, and then I just get cheese in it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, is it good? Mm -hmm. Well, good. Mm -hmm. No cheese. Really, that is good. Cheese tacos, quesadillas. Than me, I just don't like meat. Yeah. So, enjoy your dinner, and I'm gonna head back upstairs. I came here to eat for my food. It's like really cold. <laughs> is yours good? I just ended my vlog. Not ended it. I just finished talking. It's really good. That is the best. Honestly, that taco seasoning is better than regular taco seasoning. That has, is how it's been for everything we've tried. It's flavorful. Yeah. Charlie, come here. So, just to let you know, we did the gluten free taco seasoning and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your dad said it's like really good too. It's awesome. And we also, the other night, I don't think we vlogged or maybe we did. I don't know. Um, I made a beef stew. I did. You vlogged about mm -hmm. it on yours. Okay. I made a beef stew and I used like two packs of the beef stew gluten-free seasoning. Oh my gosh. It was great. I do not like beef stew, but that was you the best it. beef She's stew. She's like, we've got to do this forever. again. Yeah. I want to make that this week. Yeah, we can do it again for sure. Gosh, it was so good. It was so good. And gluten-free, honestly, I was just telling, I was literally just talking about this. Yeah. It hasn't been that hard. The only thing is no. like if you go to like a bakery or cafe. It's a little harder because there's so many options. But some bakeries have gluten-free options. Yeah, so you can easily just compromise. Oh yeah. So like I don't know, it hasn't been hard for me. And I don't at feel all. as bad. I was telling my vlog how I have like chicken skin. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys know what that is, it sounds so weird. It's Google where you it. have like these. Um, it's not continuously. Like a it's almost like having ch um, chill bumps. Chill yeah. bumps. I yeah, was like, what am I trying to say? Yeah. It's like having chill bumps, but they're twenty four seven. No matter if you're hot, and most time when you get hot, they get worse. Yeah, and it, it shows worse. And since she's been gluten free, it's gone. It's like she rubbed my arm the other day, and she's said, like, oh, "Oh my gosh, gosh, it's gone." Yeah. And I don't know. It's weird, but every time when I was eating gluten, I used to always complain about feeling so sick, yeah, like nauseous, and her stomach would. And hurt. I would just. Ne I always felt bad. I was like, gosh, mm -hmm. I feel sick. Every Every time I ate, and they were like, "Gosh, you you stay sick." I was like, "Well, but you I, have felt so much better, have you?" I not? have not said that since eating time. since eating gluten free. Yeah, you're exactly right. Like, I don't know what it is. I really think I had a gluten intolerance. I always Charlie. thought it was dairy, which sometimes dairy can still do it, but not as bad. I honestly think <laughs> it was the gluten is what was causing it, my I stomach pains, all that stuff. Well, you know. At least for me, when I don't eat gluten, I don't feel as bloated. That's what I was saying, too. Yeah. I, do, I feel lighter. I do. I do. I feel better, too. I do, too. I agree. I don't feel that great right now, though, because my no. head is pounding. I know I look horrible, too, but I've just been like this and doing this and rubbing my neck. So we're it's like this whole night. Yeah. I'm getting ready to end the vlog, guys, so I can eat dinner, but... Charlie's mad at you. Yes. Why is Charlie mad at you? I don't know. I started walking up the stairs and started barking at me. Is that who he was barking at? I just started walking up the stairs because I was going to come tell you something. He started barking at me. Oh, I'm sorry, Charlie. Are you mad? Are you mad at Bradley? Come Are you me. mad at Bradley? He can smell our food, too. That has a lot to do with it. True. 
him all staring at us. And I'm a precious baby. He is. So anyway, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. But anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're not and turn on the post notifications. And we'll you see don't you. don't want to miss these crazy adventures, guys. No, true. <laughs> and we'll see you in the next vlog. She said it.